Hey folks, um, so I just came back from a uh, reception and uh, I got a heavy dose of diarrhea because uh, I haven't been feeling all that well. <laughs> uh, such a nasty thing to say, but hey, uh, you know what? It'd be a great opportunity to start a ghost hunt, or at least in this case, talk to a spirit or something. I don't know. See, I have reason to believe that this electric lantern thing is haunted. There's a spirit waiting within. So what we're going to do, we're going to leave that lantern here. And uh, we're going to try and summon it and talk to it. And hopefully it'll do some great things or something. I don't know. Uh, according to this groundbreaking new ghost hunting book called Ghost Hunting 2.0 by Chris Bores, who I've never heard of. But apparently he's an expert, or so he says. After all, he was the 55th most subscribed channel on YouTube at one point, whatever that means. In a couple of his ghost hunting sessions, he used peanut butter and fudge to get a response from a spirit. And that's what we're going to do here. Now, I don't have any peanut butter or fudge or Nutella or any of that stuff, but I do have this glass or cup of green tea. They call it green tea, but it's actually kind of brown color, as you could probably tell, but we're going to try and tip the spirit with green tea. Apparently it likes tea. So, evil spirit in this lantern thing. If you want the tea, i really appreciate it if you could light up for us. Oh no, it lit up. It's totally a spirit lighting up this thing on its own and not a jump cut because I don't know how to cut jumps. So you want the tea? Okay, you could have the tea. I appreciate it if you could drink the tea because, quite frankly, I don't like green tea. Uh, it has a nasty taste to it or something and it makes me puke. So you could have the green tea if you want. Evil spirit in this lantern thing. Have the tea. Or would you prefer I gave you something else? I don't know. Um, uh, let's see here. Oh. I got an empty can of, of, of 7-Up. Would you like an empty can of 7-Up? Oh, it, it lit up. It wants the empty can of 7-Up. So we're going to move this cup of tea aside. And you can have the empty can of 7-Up right here. It's empty. You can do whatever you want with it. You can make holes in it. You could crumple it up. It's only It only has like a 5 cent value anyways when I return it, so... I'm not losing much, just a nickel. Because fuck nickels or something, I don't know. Um, come on, you could do it. Use the 7-Up. Can. The spirit. Touch my arm. No, seriously, touch my arm. I've seen it in an episode of that Haunted Interrogators show. Touch my arm. I've seen spirits do this before. You could touch my arm. Okay, it doesn't want to touch my arm. Um, hey, you want to play a game? I could, you know, we could play a game. That's always fun, right? So I got this, this, this thing that's popular with the kids for some reason. It's called Nash or Charlie, if you're American, I guess, or something. I don't know. You put a pen here. And we put we put we put, a, we put another pen there, and and, and 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 what what I want you to do is, is evil spirit, you if you really exist, I want you to move the pens. Move the pens, evil spirit. It's not that hard. All you have to do is move the pens. See, that wasn't so hard. That was totally an evil spirit moving the pen and not my foot hitting the table. Honest. So, evil spirit or something, would you like more tea or would you like a bag of chips? Enlighten me with your responses. If you want chips, turn off the lamp. Ooh. The lamp's turned off. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I don't have any chips. Would you settle for, um... 
Ooh, I don't know. Well, the, the lantern's shut itself off, and, but it did move the pen a bit, and it points to no, as you can probably tell. Um, the spirit has went away. I, I scared off the spirit. Um, there's no spirit. So, uh, this ghost, ghost hunting exposition uh, ends in failure, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, so Ghost Hunting 2.0 is a bust. I think I'm going to settle with Ghost Hunting 1.0. Apparently that has a slightly higher success rate, although you, you really want a worthwhile book to read. Go get Ghost Hunting 2.0 by Chris Bors. It has a great set of fiction here, and it'll e you'll either discover a new means of ghost hunting, or you'll be irate. Although, on second thought, I could give you another book you could try and not try out. Super Mario Bros. 3, Brick by Brick, by Bob Chipman. Because if you don't get any ghost hunting tips from Chris Bors, then Bob Chipman will surely ruin Super Mario Bros. 3 for you. Because he sure as hell ruined it for me. Thanks, Bob. Asshole. We will return you to your regularly scheduled programming. This is stupid fucking hell. Alright, we're done. Good night.